So today's breakfast that I'm gonna show you is actually what I eat pretty much every day. And if you watch my first video, I explained how like on a work day, I eat half of it at home before I leave because I'm starving. So I eat like some oatmeal and stuff like that. And I'll show you in a second. And then when I get to work, I have like a breakfasty type snack that has a little bit more protein and stuff in it. After I eat this, by the time we get on the road and get to where we're going, it might be a few hours. Um, so I'm gonna eat my whole breakfast because I don't know when I'm gonna eat again. So this is like a little bit more than I normally eat um, for the first part of my breakfast. And if this is confusing to you, you gotta watch my first video. I'm gonna link it here. Um, so here comes my breakfast. I'm really trying to stick to the not drinking coffee first thing in the morning. I find when I wait until like lunchtime to have my first coffee, it just makes me feel so good for the day. It's a little pick me up at lunchtime, but I'm not like depending on it first thing when I wake up in the morning. So in the morning I'm, I drink water and I'm drinking it out of my Breton Brewing trivia winner glass, which I'm very proud of. If you're from Cape Breton and you've ever gone to trivia at Breton Brewing, it's like insanely hard. Um, and our team finally won last week. Usually they only win when I'm not there. Um, so anyway, I was pretty pumped about that. So I drink probably about two or three of these in the morning and I always eat oatmeal. And I do measure it sometimes, but I've been doing it, you know, every single day for like the last 15 years I've been eating oatmeal, um, maybe 20 years. So I have a really good idea of what a cup is like and it doesn't have to be exact for me. I just don't want to be way over and I really don't want to be way under. I talk about that in a lot of my videos. If you don't eat enough, you're going to be starving. It's just not good for your health. You're not going to feel good. You're going to be tired. You're not going to have energy. So if you're not measuring, it's not necessarily that you're going to be overeating. You could be under eating. And sometimes that's the reason you fail um, at trying to like be healthier or um, just eat a little bit better because if you're not eating enough, you're gonna be starving. So anyway, there's my oatmeal, and we just got groceries today, so some of this stuff isn't even open, but I um, showed this in my last video too. I've been buying this for a few years. It's just chia and flax. I try to eat about 30 grams of fiber a day, dietary fiber. It's a lot. Um, that would be a good challenge to take. Try to get in 30 grams, or at least 25. Um, but 30 to me, I think is a really good goal, and it's, it's hard to reach it. So I put about, um, not quite a tablespoon of this chia and flax in here. I normally have like a little measuring spoon in here, but it's in the dishwasher and this is a new bag. What else do I add to my oatmeal? Oh, brown sugar. Oh, some of you guys on my last video were giving um, sugar substitute suggestions for things that are a little bit more natural because I was saying I try not to eat aspartame and Splenda and stuff like that. I do eat Splenda sometimes, but I try hard not to. Um, but I don't have my little measuring spoon, but I eat about a teaspoon of brown sugar in my oatmeal. And then I close it up. And because I'm not fancy, and I don't want to have to walk all the way over to the tap with my camera, this is tap water. Depending on where you live, you may or may not be able to drink your tap water. I'm very fortunate that our tap water tastes great. Um, so anyway, I put about this much in, just so the whole thing's saturated. It's kind of floating in there. And then I'm gonna put that in the microwave for one minute, exactly. So normally I would eat that, that's all I would eat. I would eat the oatmeal with the flax seed in it and the um, brown sugar and I would drink a bunch of water and then I'd go to work and then I'd get a break at around nine o'clock and I would eat more. So I would either eat like some eggs, like a couple of eggs or some egg whites or like a little omelet or something like that and like one piece of toast or whatever or um, I eat plain Greek yogurt a lot. Now we ordered our groceries online today and I didn't bother to call back to see what the substitutions were and they gave me vanilla Greek yogurt. So what are the issues with this? Nothing really. Um, it doesn't have as much protein in it. So the plain stuff that I was getting even in this brand had between 17 and 19 grams of protein per ser serving. So this has less protein and it has 21 grams of sugar in three quarters of a cup and more calories. So 
would I go and purposely buy this? No, I would buy the plain and then I would sweeten it up by adding fruit to it. Um, so normally I take like some frozen strawberries and I stick them in the microwave for like 10 seconds. Or I just mix in some fresh fruit. And that is my breakfast. I promise that eventually in one of these videos, I will be eating something different. Just not today. I mixed this up before we left home. It's just Pollock, like one small package of Pollock and about, not quite a tablespoon of mayonnaise and some cracked black pepper. Jeff and I are having Pollock sandwiches and this is what the boys are having. Tomatoes, cucumber, banana, little peanut butter sandwich, nuts, strawberries. What do you think, Hank? Is it good? Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You want the mommy? Oh, you don't want that part of the strawberry? Um, no thank you. Okay. Will, do you want snacks in the tent? Yes. We gotta get our bed set up in here. Yeah, and they would make traps yeah. with the nuts so they could get meat from the squirrels. I don't think people eat squirrels. They don't? I don't think. Like, I think maybe if we were really starving it was the only thing you could eat. You could eat a squirrel, but... I don't know either. I used to catch squirrels when I was a little girl. Did it? Yeah, we had like a live trap. It didn't hurt them. They would just go inside and the door would close. We could just like look at them and then take them in the woods and let them go. Mm. Would you eat a squirrel? No. Not wild squirrel. I ate Pollock sandwich. And now I'm just eating like some cut up veggies like cucumbers. And these bad boys. My kids love these. Okay, we're making coffee and uh, I forgot to bring a pot to boil water in. So we're boiling water in these two little frying pans. The coffee I drink is President's Choice, like from Superstore. Oh, Nana made that. Look at all the blueberries. I think they're from the Blueberry Hill, too. Yoink. Hey, Apple. You want to share it? Or do you want that one? Snack time. I'm going to have about 10 almonds. I already ate a couple. And an apple if I can get it back. Hey! The only thing that I didn't really show on camera is me drinking water, which I do. Um, my last video too, I think it looked like I drank zero water, but I drink a ton of water. I just normally don't have my camera in my hand. I'm going to show you something. Will, I'm going to show something on my YouTube channel. Wilson made a bench out of found objects. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show them the, be the bench that you built, Will. Okay. Do you want to show them? Yeah. Okay. So, right over here is the bench. Oh. And you can sit down here and eat snacks. And it works. It's a working bench. That's awesome. Is that where you had your snack? Yes. Nice. Yum, 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 yum. Oh my goodness. Where's the crack pepper at? 1,000. I want 3,000. Okay, I'll take 
like five likes. This is the romaine lettuce from our garden. So we're gonna put that in the salad. Mm. Oh, what is that? Fish. It's good fish. Is the fish good? Mm -hmm. Will, what are we having for supper? Rick salad, haddock, and some like pasta that much. So left. Nana left it this at yeah. our house. We had a barbecue yeah. yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So. Mommy, we're in bed with. And remember. With sweet salad, don't get sweeted up. <laughs> <laughs> For the salad dressing, I just pour a little bit of the oil out of this package that the feta comes in because it has like Greek seasoning in it. And then I just squeeze, squeeze yeah, squeeze a couple of lemons. Like, and that's it. Like this lemon. The haddock just has Look. lemon and pepper on it. And this salad someone else made. Um, but it's delicious. Um, what's your favorite part? The fish. Um, what do you call a fish with no eye? A fish with no eye? No, like, no, like, eye. What? One eye. <laughs> what do you call a fish with no eye? No. I think it's starting to rain. Is it raining? Mm, yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, dude. That's a very good marshmallow. Definitely. Best marshmallow. Um, mm. Eat the lid off it. Mm -hmm. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, the following day. We just got home. The place where we went camping is only like a half hour drive from our house and it was raining when we woke up. So we decided to like pack up and get home. It is absolutely beautiful out now. And I just wanted to record like a little outro to this video and maybe mention a couple things that I didn't film. So the only thing that I didn't show on camera was that I did eat chips at the beach. I didn't want to take my camera to the beach because of the sand, like sand and my camera don't mix. So I did eat some barbecue chips, like a couple of handfuls of chips and stuff like chips. I just try not to eat a whole lot because they're like super high calorie and because it's not my favorite 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 thing in the whole world if it was like chocolate covered almonds or something like that i'd probably eat a ton of them because we were camping um but chips like i'm just not a huge fan are you a chips person or a chocolate person because i feel like there's two different types of people there's people that like salty and people that like sweet and i'm definitely a sweets lover big time so anyway i had some chips i had a couple marshmallows we had a great time the kids had a blast they love sleeping in a tent and so do i and i love cooking when i'm camping it's just the best i hope you like this video um if you have any suggestions or comments or anything you want to chit chat about let me know uh, in the comments section below i am going to shoot another one of these videos i would say in one to two weeks I am going to make French toast for breakfast or something different that's like high in protein, low calorie, like a healthy breakfast. Um, because like I said, I eat oatmeal every single day pretty much and you guys are going to get really sick of that. So I will make an effort to make one of my like alternate breakfasts. If I was to change anything about what I ate in yesterday's video, or today's video I should say, um, I probably didn't eat enough vegetables and I tend to buy a lot of frozen vegetables so that I can cook vegetables and have them on the side of whatever I'm eating to make sure that I eat enough vegetables. But other than that, I think it was a pretty good day. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope that it was like helpful um, in some kind of way or at least entertaining and I hope you enjoyed camping with us and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.